Um, so this is uh, the year of the tiger, as you all might, Joe probably informed you. Um, so Chinese New Year is also known as Lunar New Year or the Spring Festival, um, because it's not just the New Year for um, Chinese people. I am Chinese, but it's also celebrated in other Asian countries as well. Um, and during this time, it's actually a very big celebration. Um, it takes about two weeks, especially if you are in one of those Asian countries. Everyone takes off work. Um, there's lots of fireworks, lots of celebrations. It's a very exciting time. Um, but for us uh, and for today, um, just so you know, Lunar New Year is tomorrow. So right now it's New Year's Eve technically, which is why a lot of families celebrate tonight um, to welcome in the new year tomorrow. And just um, some history, uh, I'm sure you saw some from the video that uh, was for my presentation, but um, uh, if you don't know, China is actually one of the oldest countries in the world. Um, and so it's a lot of history. Uh, if you think about the US where we all live, um, it really, our country is really just about, uh, when did we, become 1776 was the Declaration of Independence. So we aren't that um, that old. We're probably a couple hundred years old as compared to China, which is um, thousands of years old. So uh, the Chinese New Year, Lunar New Year started um, in the 14th century, which is about 3,500 years ago. That's a long, long time ago, lots of years. Um, and as I mentioned before, it's called the Lunar New Year. Um, and for some of you guys who don't know, Lunar, um, can also mean moon. So that's why this calendar follows the moon. Uh, for some of you that might, do, might know a little bit about mythology, Luna usually refers to the moon um, or moon cycle. So um, the lunar calendar follows um, the different cycles of the moon. So seeing when there's a full moon and then when there is a new moon, um, that's how they count their days and their months and their years. Um, as you can see below. So the lunar new year starts with the arrival of the new moon that usually occurs between the end of January and the end of February. So each year, the lunar new year actually changes dates. It's kind of like a moving calendar in a way. Um, it's funny because my parents who are from China originally, they don't know the exact day of their birthdays because the lunar calendar changes all the time. So when I ask them when their birthday is, sometimes it's in August, sometimes <laughs> in September. Um, so they, when they move to this country, they end up just picking a day. Um, and so that's the day we celebrated on. Um, so as I mentioned before, um, the entire celebration can last about 16 days, about tw uh, two weeks. Um, and it's celebrated in many Asian cultures. So not just Chinese, Vietnamese, Korean, Japanese, Tibet, yeah. Mongolia, right, Mongolia, Jeff? Mongolia, yes. A lot of different countries celebrate it, which is why I like to call it the Lunar New Year, not just the Chinese New Year. And something I have to add here, but what color is on my screen right now? And what color am I wearing? And it was red. Red color. Red. Yeah, Thank red. Thank you. Good job. Red. Red. Yeah. red is the color of celebration, um, of joy. Um, so even in, um, in a lot of Asian countries, when people get married, instead of wearing white, we uh, they wear red because that is the color of celebration in um, a lot of Asian countries, especially in uh, Chinese uh, traditions. So as I mentioned before, the lunar calendar is um, how we find Chinese or lunar new year. But as you all know, um, and once again, who, who knows what, what year it is, which animal? Someone wanna yell it out? Dragon. Oh, wait, tiger. 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 Last Thank you. Year, <laughs> thank you. Last year was the year of the ox, and this year's the year of the tiger. Um, so each year, it, there's a different animal representing that year. And does anyone know why it's these animals or some of the story behind it? You don't have to, to know. I'm going to tell you, but I'm just curious. No? <laughs> I know a little bit of the story. Tiger. Tiger. Yeah, I'm sure, Joe, yeah, you probably know a little bit of a story, but um, mm -hmm. essentially all 12 of these animals were in a race. So they, um, I, I won't get into the entire details of the story, but the rat came in first place in the race, and then the pig came in last place. 
and then all of these animals came in between. So that's why we cycle through these animals each year. Um, and there's, it's actually, there is um, some funny tidbits of the story. Like I think the pig was last because it fell asleep um, and then, you know, woke up and then everyone else had already crossed the finish line. Um, but that's where we get the different years. Um, does anyone know what, what is their, um, their symbol on this? No. Sam, raise, Sam raised his hand. Do you want to tell me? I'm, 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 the, I'm the monkey. I'm actually, it makes sense. I'm actually skinny. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Yeah, there Chris are has of different characteristics. I'm an ox. Um, sometimes they say ox, just like uh, the actual animal ox are stubborn um, or, or independent thinking. So it's really neat if you um, kind of look up what so and learn and about. Is all three, thanks. Thank you, Joe. Yeah, if you can mute so you can hear me, that'd be great. Um, but each animal has different characteristics. Rat, because the rat did come in first place in the race, is supposed to be very cunning as um, a characteristic, uh, very quick thinking. Um, but everyone has, you know, their great characteristics uh, that um, kind of suit them with their animals. So I encourage you to learn a little bit more about the story. But if you go and eat at a Chinese restaurant, they'll usually give you a little, um, Kind of More like paper. A mat. Yeah, a placemat that has each animal on there and gives you a little bit about their characteristics and details. And then also the year. So the way you find out which animal you are is the year that you're born. I was born 1985. And um, as you can see, there's 12 animals. So every 12th year is that is the cycle, I guess. So if it was 1985, that means 12 years from now would be... Um, 1997, so that would also be an ox. So if you were born, let's say Sam was a monkey, I don't know what year he was born, but either- I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> you don't have to tell, it's okay. But yeah. 12 years after you're born and 12 years before you're born, those people born in that year would also be monkeys. Does that make sense? Well, I don't know, I don't know which one I'm, I don't know which one I am. You can. Uh, what what year you born? Yeah. Not um 19, 1998. Okay, so 1997 I said was ox. So 1998 was would be a tiger. Okay. This is be the careful. Order. ox. I think that's right, right, Joe? I don't know if you want yes. to go. Right. Rat, ox, tiger, rabbit, dragon. So the Thank first. You. No problem. Here we go. Uh, I I I got one. Yeah. Oh, oh please wait your um, hand, please. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I was, you with hand. Hold on, guy. A person raise your hand, please. And Thanks. you know, maybe, maybe we can. Uh, I think I know Bailey was raising their hand for a yeah. while. I do want to uh, acknowledge them first because they've been Thank you. waiting. So, Bailey, do you want to ask your question first? Uh, well, my brother, he knows all about Chinese Oh, yeah, All right. Although I did come from a part part working family, and uh, on the Chinese New Year, let, let's see, my family we had we had a huge dinner, and after we we usually shot 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 like a couple of sticks of fireworks. Mm -hmm. and, and, and I was born on the year of the snake. Oh, yes. Yeah, good. good snake. My dad is also a, a snake as well. And I've also been, been making origami animals to represent each animal of the year. Wow, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. If you have one, please show us. I'd love I do. To. I'll be one. Like okay. <laughs> well, while he's getting his origami animal, um, I see. Eric, oh, yes. This is the animal right there. Oh, cool. Horse. What is that? Is it a... It's a tiger. It's a tiger. It's a tiger. Oh, tiger. Cool. oh, I see the stripes. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Thank you for sharing. Yes, You're welcome. A little bit more about traditions, too. Um, I see. Uh, yeah, Ben's hand has been up. Ben, would you like to ask your question? Yeah. Thank you so much, Bailey and uh, your brother for... You're, you are come. Yeah, um, I, I was born in 84, and to be like on the 
on the on the kind of door says it might be on the, the rooster. You're actually a rat, bud. You're a, yeah, you would be a rat because a rat. I'm yeah, I'm a rat. 85. Mm -hmm. 85 yeah. ox, so rat is 84 because you're one year before me. Uh, let me. Yeah. So you're very somebody, smart, and cunning. <laughs> somebody raise your hand. Um, I think it says Margaret. Yep, that's, that's me. Chris. Yeah. Oh, it's Chris. Okay. Hi. Yes. Hi. Um, am I still on? You can hear yes, me. Yes, Chris. Here you are. Okay. Um, my birthday is in 1983, and it's the year of the pig. Um, that's my year. Thank you for sharing that. My daughter is also year of the pig. She was born in 2019. So you, your year was two years ago too. Um, and an interesting fact. Usually when it's um, your year, it means you're going to have a challenging year where you grow a lot. So you like learn a lot about yourself and you grow a lot. So this past year, I because it was year, no, uh, year it no, felt no, like no, a no, challenging no. year. I don't know if it's just because of COVID, but it did feel like a very challenging year for me. But I also felt like I grew a lot and learned a lot myself. So mm -hmm. thank you for sharing, Chris. Um, thank you. Thank you. Uh, Hunter, I think you're next, and then I'll go to Elena after that. I was, I was born in 1999 because I'm the rabbit. You are rabbit. Awesome. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then Elena, did you want to share something? Come on, Elena, my friend. So I actually looked up my what my zodiac sign was because <laughs> My birthday was February 4th, 1989, but mm -hmm. technically I was born in the year of the dragon because the year of the snake started the day after I was born. Yep. And I was reading in, because I like to, one of my hobbies is mythology and different cultures. And I read it, that in Asian, that the difference of dragons between Asian mythologies and European is that in European they're seen as evil but in asian they're seen as um uh, luck or bravery mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's true i actually um studied greek mythology in college so yeah what you're saying is very true and i love that you brought that point alina um so because the like i mentioned before and when my previous slides um i just want to touch on something alina shared if uh the new year is usually for us between January and February. So if your birthday ends up being, let's say February 10th this year, but the new year is on February 1st, you would um, technically be, if your birthday is February 10th, it'd be a tiger. But if you were a little before, if it was January 5th, you would be an ox because it hasn't hit the Chinese new year yet. Does that make sense? That's what Elena was saying. So because the the lunar calendar is usually um, compared to ours is uh, either, it's like kind of like um, between January, February, the new year is celebrated. So your birthday could be in January, it would be before the Chinese new year. So you would technically be the animal that was from the previous year. Um, thank you so much for Elena, because that is a very interesting tidbit. And um, I like to say my brother actually, his birthday was yesterday. So he technically, was a dragon. He's also 1989. Um, but yeah, that he is a dragon. They like to say it's a, you know, like the head of a dragon or tail of a, or sorry, tail of a dragon, head of a snake, if you have like the uh, uh, border birthday like that. Um, I, uh, I will go to William and then Derek, and I do have some more things to share. So after those two, I, I'll um, finish the presentation, then I'll answer more questions if that's okay. William, did you want to share first, though? Hey, buddy. Um, hi. Um, my birthday is September 17th, 1988. I think I'm a Virgo. Is that a snake? Oh, so Virgo, that's an uh, American astrology, or I guess European astrology. So okay. I, I was born September 4th, but you would just look at your year. So you said 19, what year? 80, 88. 1988. So if I was uh, 1985 and I'm an ox, we just count up tigers 86, rabbits 87. So 88 would be dragon. Okay. Great. And then, uh, Derek, I think 
would you like to go ahead? And so um, I was born 92, so I am the monkey. Mm -hmm. and, um, so when did they actually start doing the um, the um, the animals and there's like that when the whole holiday started, I guess? Yep, when the holiday started in, uh, you know, about almost uh, 3,500 years ago, 3,500 years ago. So the, the mythology is that the first uh, Chinese New Year, Lunar New Year, they had this race with the animals, and that's how the order was decided. Ooh. Okay, so if it's all right, everyone, I'm just going to finish my presentation. I'd love to talk about some of the traditions and foods that we eat on this holiday. And then, and then we can share some more and get back to questions, all right? Okay, so. Oops. All right, yeah, okay. So, um, like I mentioned before, traditions, and this is my daughter and nephew here. Um, we wear red and gold um, because those are good luck, good fortune colors. Um, we give out red envelopes, which you might have seen before. Um, usually, it's the elders giving out red envelopes to the younger generation. So for instance, I would give envelopes to my daughter and people her age or kids her age. My parents give me red envelopes and they'll give their grandchildren red envelopes. Um, usually, there's money inside, um, but it's all about just wishing good fortune. And we, when we do that, we also say, Gong Shi Fa Tai. Can everyone say that with me? Ready? One, two, two say gong chi fa tai. Gong chi fa tai. It's correct. <laughs> Is that right? Okay. That's crazy. Gong chi fa tai. Say it again. David, I'm teaching you one more time. I'm still teaching you everybody. Gong chi fa tai. Go and she fight time. Good, good, good job. It's like a, it's Go and she fight time. No, yep. wait, wait, hold on. Is I'll, that I'll right? Go and she fight time. Good. So say it again. Go and she fight time. Go and she fight time. Yeah, that's yeah. good, 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 good. Oh, good. Have a, wait, I have a question. What does that mean? So, uh, happy yeah. New Year. It means um, good luck and good fortune in the new year. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Happy New Year is Xing Yan Kuai Le. Can you guys all say that? Xing Yan Kuai Le. Xing Xing Wa Fai Tai. What are you funny, my friend? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yo, I'm so new at this stuff. It's hard. That's right. I know. Wait, it's okay. Good. It was very good. So we usually do. You can see my daughter doing it here, but we usually do gong shi gong shi. It's like we do this praying. Yep. Or you can wrap your head. Yep. Mm -hmm. Who like, is this guy? I'm doing this is gong shi gong shi. It means uh, good fortune in the year. Like <laughs> so we do that. Mm -hmm. Great. And then let me go to the next slide. So these are um, all the foods that I'm cooking with my mom tonight. And all of these foods have a special meaning behind it. So you'll usually see these at a Lunar New Year dinner. Um, we oh, have dinner tonight. Fish is increase in prosperity. Dumplings means, you know, increase in wealth and money and uh, whatever you define wealth as. Um, Spring rolls, same idea. Anything that's wrapped up, it's kind of like symbolizes money and good fortune. Mm -hmm. uh, tang yuan, these are sweet rice balls. I think I heard someone talking about rice earlier, but um, sweet rice is really important, especially sticky rice. Um, sticky rice, uh, directly translated, uh, nian gao, which is sticky rice cake, uh, means yes. like Blessings in the new year. Um, it's a homonym, which means they sound the same. So Nian, which is sticky, also means um, year. So that's why there's always sticky rice involved. Um, some good fruit, especially round fruits, um, are eaten to uh, symbolize fullness and wealth. Nian gao, like I just talked about, uh, means, you know, uh, more success in the year. 
And then noodles, we always have noodles because um, they represent longevity, long life, because of how long the noodle strings are. Um, so that's also a very important thing to eat on Chinese or Lunar New Year. And then um, one of the traditional things you'll always see is the lion dance. Um, it's performed to bring prosperity and good luck for the upcoming year. It's also a way to just celebrate and create a festive atmosphere and bring happiness. Um, I think you guys just saw a video of it earlier, so we don't have to watch this one because it sounds like everyone okay. has yeah. questions. Um, yeah, I think Joe showed a video already. Yeah, uh, skip. yeah that's a little bit about Chinese New Year. So I'm going to stop my share. Um, yeah. And yeah, I'd love to, if you guys have any questions, I'm happy to answer them, but I hope that was a good little um, kind of coverage of everything we celebrate tomorrow on the Lunar New Year. I do uh, have a, so, I do so have a question. question. Yeah. Do you have a question, Hans? Um, oh. I, uh, sorry, go, go ahead, Sam. No, you go ahead first, yeah. Jason, please. No, no, I, I was actually just making sure I saw your hand up. So, right. yeah, I'm a Sony first thing first, I, I wanted to thank you for coming on tonight. Thank and who is, who's who's got this this sound I'm hearing? Who's got this echoing sound? No, it's bad, never mind. Um, but, anyways, um, what did you mean? The, the, the good fortune fruits, like which ones I want to know, like what do they include? Sure, yeah, usually round circular fruit because they represent wholeness and like a whole wholesome like completeness um so like uh grapefruit my mom had just um put out some grapefruit or pomelos for us um so oranges um i think what else what other round uh, you know sometimes we eat pomegranates because the, you know it's round with all the seeds inside mm. and it's red um so so yeah those are a few of the fruits you could definitely eat. Mm -hmm. And one more question before I, before I get handed over to the others. When can we all go to China together? Because I would love a road trip. Uh, or like a plane no, trip. I that's think. what I meant. Can, so. can, can I can tell the sign, uh, Jim? I went to China before. You remember I told you I went to China for a competitive work year, sign? That's so cool. Because I'm always a Jason. Jason went to together. Oh, that's so neat. I must show my mail. Hold, hold on. Yeah, show us. I've been to China a couple times. It's um, yeah. it's very large, so you kind of have to. Right now, it's not good time to go to over there. It's COVID. Yeah, it's hard to go right now because of. There's a red locker down everywhere. Mm-hmm. Arch means big. Yeah, I See? think. To, uh, oh yeah, do we want to see Joe's um here? Maybe I can hold on spotlight you. There you go. Wow, that's beautiful, Joe. That's so cool. It's for the world games, you said? Yes, yes. I went to 2017, uh 2000, Jason, right? 2007, yep. Right. In, in Shanghai. Is that we, first me? place, Joe? Second place. Good job. Let's all give him a round of applause. Congratulations, Joe. Good Thank job. you. That Congratulations, awesome. Joe. That's impressive. Uh, because so we, of we went, I went to China, we, I got sick. <laughs> it's hard. I, I used to get sick when I would go because it's just different food and different products. Yeah. Woo-hoo-hoo. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, yeah, Shanghai is really beautiful. I see Elena said she wants to visit Shanghai Disney. There's so many beautiful places. You have to see, um, you know, the Great Wall is a beautiful place. Yeah. Um, the Summer Palace is beautiful as well. There's a lot of sights to see in China. So you really have to, to plan it out when you go. And make sure, I mean, definitely have to see Beijing. Um, yeah. Hey, bro. I right. only told everyone to go let me know because I get you a trouble agent. I got like, <laughs> agent. All right, Chris Dooley, go ahead. Go ahead, Chris. Chris, you're okay. Chris, Chris. Chris. yeah, there you go. Yeah. Um 
do they have uh, kung fu or uh, what's it called? They talk about martial arts. Like, like in China, yeah. where kung fu is a Chinese uh, Chinese um, yeah, I guess technique and skill, martial art. Yeah. Yeah, and what does um, I heard it on a movie, but this meaning is uh, gung pao. Gung pao? Mean? Yeah, gung pao. It's like a stain or something. I never heard that before. Uh, it's, I mean, it's the name of some dishes, like gong pao chicken. Is that what you're thinking? Uh, but it doesn't really have, yeah, um, a meaning behind it. Well, well, actually, uh, Kung Pao is like a martial art. Jason, this, this guy in the wish you had. All know. right, so we're going to go to Bailey. Bailey? Bailey, yeah. Well, I'll put it in my chat. My birthday is March for 1999. Okay, thank you, Bailey. And so I'm a rabbit. Mm -hmm. You're yeah. a rabbit, yeah. yeah. I need to see my choice for addition too. For our tradition here, we go to PF Change mm -hmm. to get Chinese food. They have amazing food there, like Pad Thai. You know, like Pad Thai food. Yeah. Oh, that's my favorite. Yes. Yeah. yeah, Pad Thai is a Thai, thai dish. Yes. Not Chinese, mm -hmm. Yes. And they have, you know, the frozen cook cookies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they are white, brown, and white, white. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, Bailey. Thank you. All right, I think we have uh, two hands up. Uh, uh, just, uh, I'm, I'm gonna make sure everybody raise your hand, please. Yeah. So Somebody we have all the money uh, getting the no raise your hand. Great. Thanks, Joe. Uh, so we have Elena and David. Do you have time for two more questions, Yes, I definitely. Okay. Yes, go ahead. Elena, first? Yeah, Elena. So, one of my favorite foods is dumplings. For the Chinese New Year, do you do any specific kind of dumplings? Because my favorite are the chicken dumplings. Ooh. Thank you, Elena. That's a great question. We mostly, uh, I like chicken too. The ones my mom makes um, are usually pork mixed. We eat a lot of pork dumplings in our household. Um, so they'll be, or, or vegetarian. So we'll do pork with like crab or pork with different cabbages. Um, I saw someone talk about cabbage too. Um, pork with um, other green vegetables. Um, so yeah, that's the, those are usually the ones that we eat. Or um, I, I really like seafood, so my mom will make me shrimp ones as well. So shrimp and vegetable dumplings. And I'm Thank learning you. how to make them myself too, but they never taste <laughs> like mom's. I see Wayne and raise your hand again. Uh, so we have David was next. David. Okay. And uh, thank you so much for coming. Taking the time for nice thank to, you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. My question is, um, in this year, 2022, I heard that the Great Wall of China is have a more accessible for handicap access. Is that true? I believe it is. There are different ways to get up there. It is, um, it is still a long, uh, even with the accessible entrances, I believe it's still pretty long and steep. So when they built the Come wall, pay meals, please meal yourself. Thank you, Joe. So when they built the wall, they built it really up high. So um, regardless, uh, with the accessibility uh, for the accessible routes too, it's just very steep and very long to get up. So it takes a it takes a long time. I remember when I when I climbed it last time, it was um, it, it took me a long time to get up there. <laughs> Um, so, uh, yeah, I, I, I think there are, I, I remember even, I thought I saw accessible um, routes when I was there in 2018 as well. Um, but I know that the entire country is just putting more of an effort into 
accessibility and disability awareness as well. So great question though. And, and thank you for thanking me. Um, thank you guys for welcoming me. I'm, I'm really happy I could be here. Um, and, you know, hopefully you know, anytime, Jason, you'd like for me to come back, I can talk about the other holidays um, um, in the, in, I guess, in the Chinese traditions um, or just Asian traditions too. But one, um, I did want to bring up one cool thing, be just because Sam mentioned, I think Sam said it, when can we all go to China? There are cool things you can check out here in, in D.C. I, I'm pretty sure they started again last year. There were there are dragon boat races in May, and they're um, on the Potomac River, and it's free to view. So you kind of, I, I it's usually around Memorial Day weekend in May, but you can watch all of these um, people come and race dragon boats on the Potomac River. So it's a it's a really neat uh, neat thing to see. Sorry, Joe, did you? I've done it before. Oh, you've done it. Let's see. So you have. You have a dragon boat experienced uh, professional here. <laughs> yeah, we we have special Olympia in uh, Shanghai. We do dragon boat race before. Yeah, I've seen it before. Awesome. Yeah. All right. So, to, I think do we have two last questions? Is that okay? Great. Great. Then we'll call it? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So we'll go Ben and William, and then we'll. We'll let Glenda go celebrate New Year's Eve. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Oh, wait, hold on. I have a question, too. Do you okay. your head? All right, Ben, why don't you go ahead, sir? Okay. Um. Okay. This is a great question for in, in Chinese. Uh, like, I know you guys do Winter Olympics up there in Beijing. Uh, do you know what year you guys been doing that? Uh, do you have anyone to to do it? Oh, what what you ask us for, Billy? What question? The, the Winter Olympics in Chinese. What? Yeah. The Winter Olympics in mm -hmm. China are starting this week in Beijing. But there, we also, I think Beijing hosted the. Gosh, I want to say it was around two thousand eight. The last time the Olympics. I'm gonna look it up. Yes. 2008. 2008, yeah. Uh, had the Summer Olympics too. So if you guys ever do get to go to China, one of the cool things I did see when I went there a few years ago was the um, facilities for the bird's nest, where they, that was what it was called, but it was like the big um, stadium where they had the 2008 Beijing Olympics. Um, it's really cool to see from the outside. Uh, it actually looks like a Big, big bird's nest made out of metal. Do you um, know this year open somewhere in the big next? Oh, the they big are? Next. Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. So you'll see it on TV, but yeah. Yeah. Really amazing to see in person if if uh, if we ever make it back there <laughs> again. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So uh, William and then Danielle. Oh, thank you, Ben. Hi. Um, thank you so much for coming on um my question is what kind of desserts can you get in china uh, um I, I, all of the desserts that were on so a lot of sticky rice um things like that there's also sesame balls is one of my favorite desserts it comes with um fried sesame ball right yeah fried, yeah and the fried sesame balls Jonah. oh wow that sounds good yeah with red bean paste on the inside that's very good um, and one, mm. one Chinese dessert I love that Joe probably will know too is called Dan Ta. It's an egg custard. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> it's really good. Joe clearly likes it. Yeah. Oh, I like to try yeah. it sometimes. Joe, I love to try one. Hey, you want some? <laughs> I can give you some. Yeah, you can <laughs> Thank get you. Yeah. Okay, that'd be great. You can get them everybody at join special Olympic I think she get I'll see everybody for that thing. Yeah, you can definitely get them around here at the Chinese restaurants, but it is I Joe and I clearly both love eating them. Um, they're they're just very light and sweet and delicious. Yeah. Um, well, thank you, William, for that question. Uh, All right. So last one goes to Danielle. Danielle. Um, well, sorry, my last question. So. Before we leave, I want to know how to say bye in China. Like, how do you, how do you, how do you say bye? Thank you. Yeah. Yep. Thank you. I'm gonna type it in the chat. It kind of sounds like this spelled out. 
。再见，呀，再见 ，See you later, guy。再见。Can you guys say it? 再见。再见。Elena, how to say 再见 ？I try to teach you Chinese. Bye, bye, guys. 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 Bye, Good night, everyone. Good night, Jason. Good night, Jason.